Alright, hello everyone, Matthew here, how are you all today? Hope you're all doing well, and today we are back for another DVD game. I know I haven't done one yesterday because I had a pug night. Well, at the pub, obviously. So, I thought today we're going to play another DVD game. If you didn't see my last video, which was uploaded on a Tuesday, I think it was. Or was it Wednesday? It was Wednesday, and it was the second edition, but now it's time to answer some more questions and have a look at some of these pictures from it. So this is the third edition, so welcome to the third edition, the family picture edition of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? With Chris Tarrant, but now he's retired. Like I said, a couple of episodes, well, but last time I played the second edition, get at it! <clears throat> Whoa! Did about to fall. So, let me just already got this in. So, let's come a little bit there. Do the world as I want you to know. Just a little bit. Oh, get my back of us. Uh, do I have a cushion with me? Ah, uh, ha! Perfect. Something just to rest my back on. Is the universal logo? I should turn that up properly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's the universal logo that showed me. So it all's interrupted? That's two. Okay. Enter. What? Oh, whoops. I was feel I'm pissed. Come on. There we go. So this is the third edition, and here's Chris Tarrant. <laughs> hey, Chris Tarrant! Hello! Take it away, Chris. Hello and welcome to this special family picture edition DVD version of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. So, you're a big fan of the game. But do you have to always ask mum or dad for the answer? Or could you do with some help from the kids? Well, if that's the case, you're in luck. For the first time ever on this exclusive DVD, you can choose the difficulty level by answering adult or junior questions. And there are picture questions too. So challenge your family or friends in the famous hot seat and be the first to become a virtual millionaire. But that's not all. If you win a million, you could be in with a chance of winning an incredible luxury family holiday. That's closed now. Four of you can play. Just grab your DVD remote and use or the controller. Up, down, left, left, right, right and, and enter button. To move around the screen. It really is that simple. Okay, if you're ready. Let's play. All right then, Chris. Either people are new here. So what are the rules? Uh, 15 now. questions stand between you and a virtual million pounds. You have the option to walk away at any time, but if you do get stuck, you have the usual free lifeline. 50 50, phone a friend and ask the audience. All you need to do now is select how many of you want to play and whether you are an adult or junior. Then we can play the family picture edition of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Okay, cheers, Chris. So yeah, this is the family edition of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. So we need to select how many players we want. So let's see, how many do we have? We have, oh, it's just me. So there's one player, there's two players, three players, four players. But obviously I'll play them on my own, because they'll no one's to play with me. A couple of these pictures are showing on the screen now. But we're going to go for one player, and you get to adult or junior. 
Select either the adult or junior questions here. Uh, I'm obviously an, an adult. I'm obviously 17. So let's play. Okay, you've chosen to answer the adult questions. There are 15 of them between <coughs> you and a million pounds. Let's get you up to the first milestone as quickly as possible. Here is the first question for 100 pounds. Okay, what's the first question? In the UK, which of these is a professional who would normally work in the doctor's service? PC, GP, FT, CV, that's... Ah! Uh. Now, one of the weirdest thing about Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, the, the third edition, when you select a wrong answer, instead of going like, boom, or whatever the, whatever sound goes from the normal show, We'll just make that weird sound. I'll let you hear it. So I'm going to go for... Oh, what should we go for? Um, I don't have a clue. It's the first question, and I don't even know. Uh, PC, don't be stand for... I don't know. I'm going to go for... CV, final answer. What a disastrous start. That is the wrong answer. You see, did you hear that? That was the weirdest sound ever. I well, know. what a waste of time. You are leaving the game without answering one question correctly. You don't deserve any prize money. Oh, whatever, Chris. Yeah, it makes that weird sound. That red... Which is kind of like a wrong answer or something. But whatever. Uh, adult? I'm going to have another go. Oh, yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. Right, which of these is a famous Hollywood star? Ooh, that will be Tom Cruise. That's right, well done. I've tried to get up to that million. As Take a look at question two, it's for 200 quid. I've been trying to get to that million pound question on the second edition, obviously, but I've lost 218,000, so... But I still went over 32. That was off camera, by the way. Anyway, uh, which of these phrases appears in the first fur, the first verses of the British National National Anthem? Oh, I haven't got a clue. Uh, Happy and Glorious? Well done, that's right. Thank you, Chris. The next question is worth £300. Here it comes. Yeah, it's all got it. Okay, what's the final final question, Chris? If you see a penny and pick it up, what according to the rhyme can you expect to enjoy all day? Headache, good luck, content, a penny. That's good luck. That's good. It's the right answer. Good luck means like when you grab a penny, you can obviously go and buy something. Okay, the what? next question is for 500 quid. Take a look. Well, not buy anything because you only got a penny. Whatever. How many Batmans must you, you normally be scuffed as most in an instance of or oh, out? Oh crap! It's cricket. Oh, I hate cricket. Five, ten, nine, eleven. Oh, I'm not really a fan of cricket. All right. Here's what I think. I hate cricket. Um, oh, I don't know. All oh, out. Um, I went out of clue. Let's ask the audience. Right, you want the audience to help you with this yes, one? Yes, please, audience, Chris. Grab your keypads and get ready to choose the option you think is correct. Ready? All Hold that now, please. Let's see what they think. Okay, oh, that is not a very good result. So, 43 of the audience thinks it is 10. 32% of the audience thinks it's 9. 17% of the audience thinks it's 5. And 8% thinks it's 11. Christ. Well, that did not help me at all. Let's try, I'm, I'm going to try 11. Oh, 10, sorry. Well done, everybody! Oh, thank God. I'm, not, I'm never going to answer that cricket question again. You are one question away from your first milestone. Get this right, and you'll be guaranteed a thousand pounds. 
which fictional castle was created by the writer and artist Madeline Cl Oh, well, I'm gonna clue. I'm gonna go 50-50. Right then, looks like you need a bit of help finding the correct answer. Let's get the computer to take away two random wrong answers and leave you with just two to choose from. A or D? I'm gonna go for D. Final answer. It's wrong. You've lost five. What? Governors! Damn it. The wrong answer means that you leave us with no prize money at all. Hardly worth the effort, really. Whatever, Chris. I can't believe it. So close to a thousand. Ugh, I shouldn't have gone with A. Worst of all, I still have that photo friend. God damn it. Oh well. We'll have another go. Adult. Yes, 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 yes. yes. According to the proverbs, how many... Excuse me, I was talking. According to the proverbs, how many cooks bill was the fourth? Too many? Not enough? Only three? One more? I would say not enough. I'm afraid that is the wrong... Too many! Oh dear, you've not even made it past the first question. You'll have to do much better next time. Thanks, Chris. I'll have to do much better next time. Right, one pair, adult, continue. Yes, 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 yes. What yard is the headquarters of the. Uh, duh, not clue. Uh, Scotland? Excellent. Off to a good start. Well done. That's better. Good start. £100. What's the £200 question, Chris? Take a look at question two. It's for £200. What term is the appeal to someone who is saying the one thing but means another? Two fisted? Two timer? Two faced? Wait, that's two faced. Well done, it's the correct. <coughs> what time is it also? Time is 10.01. Not bad. The next question is worth £300. Here it comes. In April 2004, the golfer Phil Marcus won his first. What? Prize money? Sponsors? One spoon? Major? Oh, I'm not really a fan of golf. I think it's... Oh... I'll say prize money. You have chosen the wrong... Fuck! What's of all, I'm not really a fan of filmmakers. Then. Well, you won't win the million this time. You are going to have to drastically improve next time. Thanks, Chris. Thanks. Oh, man. That is really nasty, that question. Golf? Adult? Who is lead singer of the Rolling Stones? Mitch Adam. A correct answer to kick off with, well done. I know that for sure. Take a look at question two. It's for 200 quid. What colour are the flowers? Oh, of the marigold. Orange. Well done, it's the correct answer. A correct answer. Come, little bit later. The question is worth 300 pounds. Here it comes. Do it, as I want you to know. What, is, what name is sometimes used Used to describe a person who starts or <laughs> rubber necker, rubber lecker, rubber wrestler, rubber hander. That's rubber hander. I want to do that. You have chosen the wrong answer. Shit, rubber necker. Well, you didn't manage to reach the first milestone. Two correct answers isn't good enough. You leave with nothing. Oh man. Oh well. We'll come back next time. Let's have another go. We'll do a couple more. Adult. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, 
Which is the family comedy film released in 2000? Oh, duh. All right, I'm gonna have a go. It's no, 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 that's right, well done. That's obviously 101 Dimensions, which was released in 1996 or 8. I think, I'm not answered sure. What nickname was given to the music hall comedy? Oh, Max Miller. I got no idea. Did you tap it? Excellent, that's the right answer. Next question is worth £300. Here it comes. What's the question, Chris, for £300? Which EastEnders actress starred in the Carry On films? Oh, bollocks. Jude Brown, Barbara Wilson, Pamis Leonard, Jesse Wallace. Oh, I really am not a fan of EastEnders. Barbara? That's right, well done. I wouldn't know that. Which of these national parks does not exist in the in the trans Oh god, I'm going to have to ask the audience because I've got no idea for that. Okay, you want to ask the audience. Audience, you look like a very clever bunch. Take a look at the options. If you're ready, press your keypads. Now, please. So what the audience thinks. Okay, 78% of the audience thinks it's B, 15% thinks it's A, 5% thinks it's D, and 2% of C. Whoever the two people are who put C's, raise your hand. Anyone? No? Fine. Well done, that's right. Order, everybody! You are one question away from your first milestone. Get this right, and you'll be guaranteed a thousand pounds. Which of these is in the pennies? Oh, I'm going to do a bit 50 because I don't. I will have no clue on that. Right then, looks like you need a bit of help finding the correct answer. Let's get the computer to take away two random wrong answers and leave you with just two to choose from. Exactly that same thing. Alright, this time I'm going for this one. Congratulations, that is the right answer. You are doing very, very well. Thank you, Chris. Oh, a check! Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Oh, man! Oh, well. shake things up a bit now by introducing a few pictures into the question. Brand new experience for this special Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Now, you might as well play the next question. It's worth 2,000 quid. Right, no need to read the question for me, so Chris and I'll let it over to you. Chicago is a city in which US state? California, New Jersey, Illinois, Oregon. Hmm, tricky question. Oh yeah, questions do get a bit harder. So instead, I haven't got my phone with me. Uh, can I... Find a friend, please, Chris. Okay, so you want to use your phone a friend lifeline. Choose the person you think is most likely to help you. Okay, thank you, Chris. Who should we phone? James, Helen, or Jack? Hmm, it's got to be James. But remember, I do not have to go along with what they say. So, let's phone James. See if he can help me out. Come on, James. Thank you, James. Thanks for your help, mate. You just won two thousand pounds. Thanks, Chris. You usually does that weird sound, but whatever. You're up to question seven. It's worth four thousand pounds. You don't have to play it, but here it comes. Opened in nineteen ninety-one, the Cable stayed Queen Elizabeth II Bridge carries traffic across which river? Tay, Forth, Orwell, M. Right. Right. 
Okay, let's go use some thinking. Um, right, I don't think it's Faith. I don't think it's Tay. Fourth of oh well. Um. You know what? I really don't have a clue. Um, I don't really know. Opened in 1991, the cable stayed calling Elizabeth II. Which comes from Tabitha? So which river? Fay, Tay, Fourth, oh well, Thames. I'll lose a thousand if I'm wrong. Um, I really don't have a clue. I'm thinking it could be four. No, it's got to be oh well. I'm not really quite sure, really. Um, No idea about Quillis the second. I'm gonna try oh well. If I get it wrong, I'll lose a thousand. Uh can I ask the audience for this? Oh yeah, I like You've already asked the audience for help in this game. Oh what? Oh come on! One more, please! No. You've already asked the audience for help in this game. Damn it! Alright then, can I go 50 50 please? You've already used your 50 50. Damn it. Alright then, can I find a friend? I'm sorry, but you only get one chance to phone a friend. Damn it! Well, we can't really use any of friends. Um. Ah, what the hell, we'll go for it. Oh well, final answer. I'm gonna get it wrong. Oh no, you just lost a thousand pounds. It's Thanks. incorrect. Answer. Oh, it was D. Well, I'm afraid that's where your game comes to an end. You only made it to the first milestone, so you leave with a thousand pounds. Well, that's not that bad. Um, what? How long have I been recording for? I can't really. 23 minutes in, and we only won a thousand pounds. So that's not bad, but I would like to get a bit more. So let me cut away for a bit. I'm gonna get a drink, then I'll come back and we'll carry on playing. So back in a bit, and I'm back. Oh, that was a bit quick for me. Anyway, right. So one player. Adult and continue. Okay, you've chosen all up. Yes, yes. Which of these would you not expect from float? Rock, leaf, feather, duck, rock. Very good. Up the mark with a correct. Because rocks, they sink. Ducks can float. So the feathers and leaf. Does it? Oh no. Um, I won? No. You are incorrect. Fuck! I'm lucky. I don't think you'll ever win the million if you can't even answer two questions correctly. Nope. You leave the game with nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. We'll have another go. As old and okay. Okay. Which is the following is the town from Essex? Oh, I really haven't a clue. Uh, what happens if I pick walk away? No, 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 no. I am not pressing that. Uh, I'll go guess D. What a disastrous. Nasty! Oh, come on! Oh dear, you've not even made it past the first question. You'll have to do much better next time. 
God damn it. What other questions have they given us? Okay, first question. Alright. Oh, that's gonna be easy. All rounders boards. Hmm. Uh, I mean. That's, uh, rowing. What a disaster. Cricket! That is the wrong answer. Fucking cricket. Excuse my French. Well, what a waste of time. You are leaving the game without answering one question correctly. You don't deserve any prizes. Also, I apologise if I keep on swearing, but for some reason, whenever I get younger people like watching my videos, I keep on swearing. So, if any young people who are watching this, I do feel sorry for you. So, sorry if I do keep on swearing, it's just I keep on raging. And that's all, but please do respect me. Right, yes, 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 yes. Whichever following would you happen to wear a colour? A dog colour. Uh, that would be a fire mate. Are you kidding me? What? Wow, well, what a waste of time. You are leaving the game without answering one question correctly. Ow. You don't deserve any prize money. Ow. Ow. Uh, my name is... Yes, 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 yes. What form of transport here? For instance, is the um oh, I haven't got a clue. I have an end. Uh, that's a steam train. A correct answer to kick off with, well done. It's not for only in one car. Take a look at question two. Lomba. I think this is shit about Lomba. Ah oh, sorry, I'll keep on trying. I mean to hence he makes up at uh, one pound. Hmm. Right, so 20, that's 10. 25, that will make 30. Uh, I'm going to say 50. It's the correct answer. The next question is worth 300 pounds. Here it comes. Uh, no, sorry, uh, whatever. What word means a crude word of fuck a clown? Uh, balloons. I'm sorry, but that is what? the wrong answer. Bobbins! Oh! Well, you didn't manage to reach the first milestone. Two correct answers isn't good enough. You leave with nothing. Oh, come on! Balloons! Sorry, sorry, I do keep on swearing. Sorry about that. Any young people are watching, I really am that sorry. I cannot help with the strike, with the rage of it. I keep on swearing for some reason. Right, junior. Uh, no, adult, sorry. Okay, right, what's the question? Which of these vegetables can make you cry? Oh, duh, not like early junior. It is an onion. Answer to kick off with, well done. Correct answer, £100. Take a look at question two, it's for 200 quid. Excuse me. Which of these is often used is in a ma manner for faith, accidents, or modern tennis racket? Gravel, rabbit, granite, grit. Or oh, I would say grit. Right. I don't think you'll ever win the million if you can't even answer two questions correctly. You leave the game with nothing at all. Absolutely nothing. Nothing at all. Some other guy. Okay, 
Yeah, you've chosen up. Um, yes, yes, yes. Oh, Take me. your time and ease your way into the game. Come on away. Uh, 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 I'm gonna say neighbours. Very good. Off the mark with a correct answer. You're not gonna get me out this time. Oh, speaking of neighbours, I do have. I, uh, question two is for two hundred quid. Speaking of which, I do have two copies of Bad Neighbours One and Two. Well, just two DVDs of it. Bad Neighbours One and Two. I think. What does the neighbours look like in the in the US? Neighbours. Uh, there's neighbours one. There's neighbours. Whatever, 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 whatever. Uh, what's it is the UK super forecast area? Cutter, mice, badgers, dogger. That's a dogger. A dogger, which is a dog kind of. Woof, woof. Not my best. That's another dog. Next question is worth three hundred pounds. Here it comes. Excuse me. Which of these is not a clown? It's, it's, it's Firefox. You have chosen the wrong. What? Right. Right. Well, you didn't manage to reach the first milestone. Two correct answers isn't good enough. You leave with that. I'm really going to be struggling with this, guys. So I really need some help. Well, I've still got a thousand pounds. It's still enough for the move to run, but how long have we been recording for? Buddy, I can't see. Nearly 13 minutes. So we're going for. Let's go for two more. Actually, we'll go for three more. Okay, you chose. In which London Street does Arlock's home live? Baker Street. Very good. Off the mark with a correct mm. answer. Excuse me. Okay, for two hundred quid. Race from the Cameron. It's a nineteen. It's it's the sixteen fifties. Sixteen fifties. Which of these is one of the oldest British armies? Hot Hopefully, guards. Warm leg guys. Cold cannibalism. Cold steam guns. That's warm leg guards. You are incorrect. What? Oh, cold stream, guys. I don't think you'll oh, ever God. win the million if you can't even well. answer two questions correctly. You leave the game with um, nothing at all. Thanks. Well, excuse me. What's your day? Which of these was the a date in 2004. 29th of February? Excellent. Off to a good start. Well done. Because obviously it's an elite year. Okay, four years. Take a look at question two. It's for 200 quid. Is it every four years or something? Yeah. <laughs> Which of these is a trademark uh, from a popular handheld video games machine? Uh, that's a Game Boy. Well done, it's the correct answer. I don't remember having a Game Boy. I didn't have a Game Boy. The next question is worth £300. Here it comes. <laughs> Sorry. Which 2003 remake of the classic 60 film stars Mark Wilders and Tiffany Dan... The French Cafe, The Indian Job, The Greek Can, The Dutch Project. That's the Dutch Project. Oh. You have chosen the wrong answer. Excuse my French. Italian job. Well, you won't win the million this time. You are going to have to drastically improve next time. Thanks. Two more goes. Uh, excuse me. And then we'll go for a adult. Because I'm 17. Okay, you've chosen to answer the... Complete the race of the crown of this Herbert. Take your time and back. ease your uh, way into the game. The uh, fastest. What 
a wait, wait. Start. That is the Oh dear, you've not even made it past the first. No. Nope. You'll have to do much better next time. Alright, we'll go for... We'll go for a couple more. Since I'm nice. We'll go for a couple more and we'll call today. Okay, you've chosen to answer the adult questions. There are 15 of them between you and a million pounds. Let's get you up to the first milestone. That's completely possible. possible. Here is the first question for 100 pounds. All right then, Chris Tarrant. Thank you very much. What is the first question? Which of these is the Hollywood cast? Moon Account? Hell of Legends? Hashtag Casbrook? Manos at the... Hey? No. Wrong, aren't I? No. Oh dear. Whatever. What name is given to the class of the people who are entitled to sit in that house of law? Look at I have no idea. What answer I picked? Walker. Oh, nah, I'm not going to do that. Maybe it's probably not the best time to walk away at the first question. Um, Corbage? No. I'm afraid that is the wrong... Oh, answer. come on! Wow, what a waste of time. You are leaving the game without answering one question correctly. You don't deserve any prize money. I don't deserve any prize money. Not at all. What are the... They do... Hmm. They do do picture questions, but I don't think I've seen any picture questions on this channel yet. Okay, next one. Will that be nice? A million. Will that be nice? A million quid. Nicholas Sells? Crap! Come on! Cage! Wow, what a waste Sage. of time. You're leaving the game without answering one question correctly. You didn't serve any money. I know that, Chris. Yes, yes, yes. Which of the following might be drawing the right? That's a... Bones. What a disaster! Finger! That is the wrong answer. Wow, what a waste of time. What a wasted time indeed! Huh. Which promise is the Tories and Hens of the South of England? Old, new, borrowed, blue. That's new. That's right, well done. That's right, well done. Thank you, Chris. What time is it? Uh, uh, what time is it now? At the time it is currently 10.31. So we'll go for two more. Uh, I have no idea. This one. Excellent. That's the right answer. <laughs> Next question Excuse is me. worth three hundred pounds. Mm. Here he comes. Excuse me. Rum is an inf. Don't forget, there is no time limit. Thanks, Chris. Rame is an informal name for which English city? Bristol, Bradford, Birmingham, Brighton. Hmm. It's not Bristol. It's not Bradford. Birmingham, I never heard of, but I did do some research. Brighton. I'm sorry, but that is the wrong Fuck! answer. Excuse my French. Well, you won't win the million this time. You are going to have to drastically improve. Right, we'll do one more and then we'll call it today because it's already coming up to half ten. It's just went half ten. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, okay, oh, go on now. Let's see what happens when we walk away. So, you don't even want to have a go at the first question. What was the point of <laughs> Chris is not looking happy. <laughs> Whoops. I don't know why I pressed that. Whoopsies. Let's have another go. Right, I won't count that for a fail. 
Right, let's have another one. We'll do one more. Which of these is the warm and gunman deemed to be susceptible to almost any social Little white black little black dress, tiny white shirt, big red scarf, medium green hat, that's tiny white shirt. What a disaster. Little black dress! What a nasty start! Wow, what a waste of time. You are leaving Yeah, what a waste of time. One I don't deserve any money. money. You're right, I don't deserve any prize money. But do you? Can I have a go? See if you can try and beat me. Uh, what's the most I ever won off camera? Most I ever won off camera is... Second edition. Most I ever won is 32 grand. Okay, you... In which of the following do Ignatius Murphy, Peter Perfect, and the Anhill Uh, that's wacky races! That's right. well done. I'm not gonna do that voice on me. Whatever the name is, that dog. Take a look at question two, it's for 200 quid. Yeah, like you. <laughs> Distracting their attention from somebody is by getting in the first is to probably steal their shoes, horse, trousers, thunder. That's trousers. That's the wrong answer. Thunder. That's my mum. I don't think you'll ever win the million. Okay. Okay, sorry about that. Guys, that was my mum. She decides to go to bed. Right, we'll go for one more, and then we'll call it today. And we'll call we'll do the fifth edition, because obviously I don't have fourth edition. But anyway. okay, you what comes with for the word glass? Rigging the glasses to read questions. That's to read to get the name of of a, of a popular type of hard cheese: bubble, double, rubble, trouble. That's a double. That's right. Well done. Thank you. I'm going to need glasses to, to read the questions. Take a look at question two. It's for two hundred. I think I've seen Jeremy Carson read the questions with his glasses. What name is given to the main flat area of the leaf? Lance, sword, blade, foil. Sword. Unlucky. I had that question on that. Was it the first edition? No. Well, I'm sorry, but your game is over almost as quickly as it begun. You're going home with a big fat nothing. A big fat nothing. We'll go for one more. I did say we're going for one more than four today. But we'll go for one more. Just to make sure. Okay, you chose. Yes, yes, yes. Which of these is, is, or was not, something better? Who was that? Not landing. I'm afraid that is the wrong... Crossword! Oh dear, you've not even made it past the first nope. question. You'll have to do much better next time. Ah, oh, nasty start. But, oh well. Alright, I'll say that. I did say one more in the record today, but... But, since... Because I'm a nice guy, we'll go one more. Before we get to 50, 60 minutes. What's the name, name of the Roman god of love? Uh, that's a... Cupid. A correct answer to kick off with, well done. Which of these is a famous annual song contest? Eurostars. You are incorrect. Um, are you having a laugh? Eurovision. Well, I'm sorry, but your game is over almost as quickly as it begun. You're going home with a big fat... Nothing. I'm so annoyed that I keep on getting questions wrong. 
We'll go for one more, since I'm nice. What is this name for a strong st sprung metal device used to hold paper? Uh, I'd say... Bulldog clip. Very good. Optima with a correct answer. Is it coming out to 60 minutes yet? Boy, just coming out to 46 minutes. I thought it was 60 minutes. Uh, 6 minutes when the video stopped. Uh, which of the... Which of the following is the name given to a close-fitting one-piece trouser suit? Cat suit, dog suit, mouse suit, fat suit, a fish suit. Um, dog suit. That's the wrong answer. I'm not annoyed. Well, I'm sorry, but your game is over almost as quickly as it begun. You're going home with a big fat. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. Thanks for that, mate. I'm annoyed. I really am annoyed. I can't even get past that first milestone. One more and we'll call it a day. Which of these Bristons is not best known as a musical contest? Uh. Edward. I'm afraid that is the wrong answer. Are you having a laugh at me? Well, what a waste of time. You are leaving the game without answering one question correctly. I know, I don't serve any mini. What a waste of time! Right, we'll go for one more and we'll call it today. Balls. A correct answer to kick off with, well done. Not bulldog, not beans, or bang. Take a look at question two. It's for two hundred quid. Who was elected leader of the Lamba Party in nineteen ninety four? I wouldn't have a clue. Uh Tony Blair? Well done, that's right. Got that right. What is the first name of the bar Baroness's Mutual Yard, the former speakers of the houses? Betty? Correct. Very well done. 300 pounds? For 500 pounds. Okay, the next question is for 500 quid. Take a look. Which horse racing uh, and certainly took part in a series of celebrities, Big Brother. Um, I want another clue. I'm going to. Let's ask the audience. Okay, you want to ask the audience? Audience, you look like a very clever bunch. Take a look at the options. If you're ready, press your keypad. <laughs> now, please. See what the audience should think. Okay, so I think it's D. John McCree. It's the correct answer. Hey! You are one question away from your first milestone. Get this right, and you'll be guaranteed a thousand pounds. Who is the avatar producer in the Michael? What's the. They're not the same name. Hmm. Let me think about this. So, A, B, C, or D. Um. Ah, <laughs> uh, what the hell? We'll do fifty-fifty. 
Right then, looks like you need a bit of help finding the correct answer. Let's get the computer to take away two random wrong answers and leave you with just two to choose from. Alright, I'm going to go for Harrod. Well done, you are right. Yes, I'm right. Oh, check! Give me, give me, please. But I don't want to give you that just Man! Now. Let's shake things up a bit now by introducing a few pictures into the question. Brand new experience for this special who wants to be a millionaire. And you might as well play the next question. It's worth 2,000 quid. We'll also play this. We've got nothing to lose. What's the question, Chris? Which of these performers did not host the TV series The Golden Shop? Bob Monkhouse, Norman Borg, Terry Wogan, can I phone a friend, please? So, you want to phone a friend, that's not a problem. Just select who you want to call, and we'll see if they can help you. Alright, who should we phone? Emily, Helen, or Jean? Or Jen? Um, I don't know if they are any good at TV shows. Let's try Helen. She, see if she can help me out. Come on, Helen. Then I'm sure I could work out the answer. I'm thinking when I saw these answers, it's C. I just can't be sure though. Hmm. It's not really much a help. So Helen thinks it's Terry Wogan. But do I agree with her? Let's give it a try. You're doing very well. It's another correct answer. See? What happened to that? Did you see that? Okay, Chris, what's the answer? Oh, so what's the question? Sorry. Oh, it's a bit too In 1983, this man was elected president of which political party? Sinn Féin, Fianna Fáil, Fine Gael, Socialist Party. I'm going to try B. No, 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 let's try... No, nah, let's go for that. Are you sure this is your fun? Nah, let's go for A. Congratulations, that correct answer takes you up to £4,000. I was right. The next question is worth £8,000, but you will drop £3,000 if you get it wrong. Here it comes. What's the question, Chris? Make it quick. I'll lose three grand if I'm wrong. Um, God, I haven't got a clue. I really don't have a clue, Chris, so I'm going to walk away. It's not enough to risk three grand. Well done. Seven correct answers in a row means you leave us with £4,000. £4,000? That's not bad. That's not bad. Four grand. Four grand's enough. Start run, but hey ho. Right, camera sort of be going out on a minute. So, guys, I'm gonna leave it there. Four thousand pounds we started with, so that should be enough to start run. Um, let me know in the comment section of what DVD game I should do next. Maybe I can give you a shout out. But yeah, other than that, thanks guys for watching this video, and I'll see you all in my next video. But until then, bye bye.